Spend time with Mildred Apeño and you will not have a dull moment. She has the energy of a hummingbird and laughter comes easy for her. In fact, some people would describe her as dramatic. At 25, she seems to be living life to the fullest and has embraced it her way. Mildred Apeño is a writer. She is a lover of life, a lover of freedom. Mildred has a passion for women. Before Mildred came into fitness, she was more known as a writer. She has a column in one of the local dailies and also writes a blog. She started writing in Senior Six Vacation not many years ago. One of my dreams growing up was, you know, I want to write next to Ernest Bazania. I want to know him and I want to write with him. I achieved that when I was 18. Great. So I was like, now what do I do? Mildred then eyed the advertising industry. Much as her passion was in journalism, there was a problem. The pay the media offered would not allow her to lead the life of her dreams. I started looking around. I was, I was like, you know, how much can I make from being a journalist? How much, you know, am I going to be making enough to, you know, go out? Well, it's hard for journalists to get into the space where they're making a good amount of money. Yeah, I realize I'm talking to a journalist, so you know that struggle. And I was like, no, 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 please, this is not my struggle. She was in advertising for two and a half years. Earlier, Mildred had tried to be a TV presenter, but that didn't work out. So I get in there, I'm wearing my best dress, and I'm really bad at it. And I'm like, no, this cannot be the one thing I am bad at in my life. Mildred is a city girl. She was raised in Bugolobi, a Kampala suburb, and it shows in her language and lifestyle. Her hairstyles have no limits. I am very true to whatever expression my, my mind, my body, my personality demands. So if today I woke up and I felt, you know, I don't know, I should shave the back of my head, I would. She is not worried that her newfound love for bodybuilding will scare men away. I don't want to date man boys. I don't want to date... I mean, I feel like all of these parts of my personality that people would find, eh, are really good sieves. The firstborn of five girls, Mildred lost her mother three years ago, 11 days after she delivered her baby sister. This is one of the worst moments of her life. Days later, she collapsed, and we rushed her to the hospital in good time, two, two hours before she passed away. And it turned out it was just it was negligence because this is somebody who is not breathing properly and then they put, I think they gave her oxygen when she had passed away already, when she had stopped breathing. There's nothing quite like losing somebody like your mother. You lose your mother, you, you feel, it feels like the sun has gone from above you. The sun will never rise again. It feels like you're gone, you're dead with her. You she speaks fondly of her father. He's a singer, he's a dancer, he's a composer, he's a pianist. He is the most energetic person that, that I know. Mildred has a dream. I want to begin a movement in every single woman that I meet, that I have contact with, that Fit Click Africa has contact with. A movement of one, self-love and, and self-acceptance, just knowing that you are worthy, that your space is yours, and you're not a mistake, you're not second rate. You're not below anything or anybody on this planet. Our conversation then veers into a discussion on depression, a state of the mind that is rarely understood. Depression is rarely seen as a disease. It's seen as kajanja, it's seen as not wanting to do things, it's seen as maybe being lazy. And sometimes people use medication to you know, heal from, from or to deal with their, their depression. Personally, I find that physical activity is what sparks, what, 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 what needs to be sparked in my brain. So I'll run, I'll dance, I'll kickbox, I will bring myself back to life in this way. I then feel obliged to join Mildred and her colleagues for a fitness routine, yoga. Okay, so Mildred's enterprise, FitClick, now 256 but soon to be Africa, is an exclusively women's gym founded in March this year. There are so many reasons why we need to exist as Fit Click Africa. These spaces for women to come and enjoy distraction-free, fun, you know, dance classes, strength training classes, kickboxing, self-defense. It's important for us to have our spaces. And nobody's looking at you like you're going to lay an egg as you're doing squats. The gym offers classes in strength training, African yoga, self-defense, Thai kickboxing and dance. Fit Click Africa has grown me. I began it, but it has, it, has, it has begun me. It has set me on a certain path. In her now seven-month journey in fitness, Mildred has seen many doors open for her. She sometimes thinks this is a sign that she is on the right track. 
Recently, she was chosen among 500 youth for the Mandela Washington Fellowship for Young African Leaders. This offered her the opportunity to meet people she had never even dreamt she would meet in person. In front of Michelle Obama, and she was saying, she told me, she said, you're already doing it, you're already making change. You're, that was such incredible validation. Mildred looks up to the two aunties and the outspoken former MP, ethics minister and now human rights activist, Dr. Miria Koburunga Matembe. She was like, this one is even more crazy than I am. And I was like, validation for years. Mildred has had to change her diet because of the energy she burns up during the workouts. A heavily protein-based diet. I'll ensure that my carbohydrates are in the morning. I will have most of my fruit before 2, a, 2 p.m. In one of her blog posts, Mildred writes, I intend for fitness to be a habit, a lifestyle, as opposed to one of activities that leave me cursing the day I was born. You as a human being are able to achieve anything just as long as you put your skin, where is your skin in the game, what have you begun, where have you started. Josephine Karunji, NTV.